show you yours because mine isn't. Yours says required. Welcome back to another video. So today, Alex and I are at San Diego. San Diego, our favorite place. <laughs> our chill place. So show you a tour of our room. And probably gonna go get better buzz because you can only get better buzz here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And we're it Smells then... like barbecue. I did that as the car that was on fire on the freeway. Yikes. But it's actually a really good area that it's we're good. in, it's downtown. which I like. So this is our Airbnb. It has this cute little chair area. And then you walk in and there's this cute little door. And it says welcome to SD. Yeah, there's a little bed. IKEA furniture, SD. Oh, is that from IKEA? I don't know. Looks like it. Bathroom. This little mirror to check how your outfit is. TV, sitting area. And then kitchen, which we're probably going to use to cook dinner and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to Albertsons right now because even though the place said on Airbnb that they use like hospital grade cleaning, we're still like paranoid and we're going to clean it extra. Because <laughs> you never know. You know what I mean? We're, oh, we're driving? Okay, I thought we were walking. I usually, or for the past two days, I ran at work, but today... Yeah. I was like, no. It takes like 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. It's about to recognize those buildings. We're close to my Seaport Village. Nice. We used to go to Seaport Village every year. So our freshman year, our sophomore year. And then, did we go our third year? I think. No, we missed that one because we were raving a lot. So we went. Senior year. Yeah, and then we always go to SD, but just different parts. So we'll go to Coronado, or we'll go to like downtown San Diego, or where else have we been? We've been uh, to that, been to that like one Chile island stuff. area, yeah. Just depending if we're raving or if we're just chilling, walking over to the grocery store Which is to like get our, mile, steps in, our steps in so that I can fill my rings for today. We should rent bikes. We have penny boards. That oh, building right. That's right business there. and technology. That's a city college? Are you kidding me? Arts and humanities. Dude. Oh, it's math and social sciences. Wait, this looks like a real, like a oh. university. Dude, I feel like a tourist. <laughs> There's like Anything nobody walking up. around. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. With the empty cleaning supplies. Oh, here. There's the plates, utensils. Yeah, I brought some. Okay, so we're gonna make dinner now. And I'm gonna make ceviche. And what is this? Oh, it's paper towel. Right. Morning shots of emergency. Yeah. Drink yours. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. So today is the next day. Alex and I are going to the La Jolla Trails. I don't know how to fix that van either, but we're gonna pick up our coffee from Better Buzz first. I just wanted to show you guys our outfits of the day. My Barbell Brigade. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, I know, represent. So I'm wearing these leggings from Pink, this crop top from PacSun, this jacket that I got from Q. I don't know, I don't have hiking shoes, but we've been on this hike and it's not too crazy. Not too bad. So we're gonna grab our coffee first because I ordered it from Better Bows. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. Okay, pull this off. 
Oof. Is yep. it good? Best drink ever. Drinking my coffee. I wish I had a Jeep. So we're driving around UCSD because it's right next to the trail. And, and the buildings at, are just really nice. And we're looking at like the health sciences buildings, like where we would have gone had we worked, had we gone to, to the, the school. school. Hoya yeah, Hall. Security patrol. Oh, it's over there. I can see it. This is so cute, though. So sad. Congrats, 2020 grads. Huh? Yeah. Oh, they have a homeowners. Probably. I wouldn't want to live here if it had the homeowners. There's the entrance. You gotta go through like these. Area. I remember the first time we went here, we were like super confused yeah, how you get in. Now we know. So it's not like a... Not like a surprise anymore. Mm-hmm. Because it was weird because it's like you're walking through someone's yard. So I'm wearing this sweater because it's really cold. So we're trying to go up that trail, up to the top up there, like right around here, take pictures. And we're all the way down here. So we'll probably go up there, go down, and then hit the beach. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, so instead of going down this way, we're gonna try to go up here. Cause there's a string up there that's apparently supposed to help you get up. Dude, that's like a real ass hike. <laughs> Cause you're like rock climbing, basically. I think that one's harder though, no? We just have to go down the other way. It's, it's Dude, fun. it's a really nice view. It's fucking scary. It's nice. There's Here. a bunch of surfers. Switch. We made it to the bottom. What? A thing. Alex over there just peed. That's so girl. So funny. There, Alex goes to find his place to pee, which is like that dog. On top you can see like the city, the ocean, and then people surfing. Oh my god, this is really slippery. But it's a pretty cool hike because you can go up this way, up that road, or you can go rock climbing on this side. And then we went all the way up to like the top. And it looks like it'd be a really long hike, but it's really not. Alright y'all, it's like way, way later, but we took a shower after and now we're gonna go pick up lunch. It's about 10.30, no 10.45 and what is it, like a 10 minute drive? Yeah, it's like a 10 minute so drive. So by the time we get food, we'll probably be... It'll be up at like 11. Yeah. So we got it all ready to eat in our cars. <laughs> we're going to Tacos El Gordo because we always go to Tacos El Gordo. I don't know if we filmed it last time, but it has the best tacos. But we're just gonna get it to go. Because obviously there's no dine in there. It gets really, really crowded though, normally. It does, it does. So hopefully it's not too crazy. Cause it's still pretty early. I'm excited. We always have our go-to places whenever we go to SD. Like we yeah. go to the coffee shop and then we go to get tacos. So this is the line for the tacos. It's just drive through. Insane. I feel like it's. All the faces in this ocean come together, making it. I had to go to the other one. And what happened? It's closed. They have a security guard there, like guarding it. Just, just to say that they're closed. Hi, can I get. Uh, morning. morning. Can I get two uh, tacos de lengua? Uh, Horchata. Up here. Social distancing ourselves. <laughs> so this is the carne asada. Oh, they're freaking warm. It's really windy out here though. We're right next to the ocean, so what do you expect? So this is the carne asada. Mm -hmm. These are the two lenguas. So the... that's the carne asada. Okay. And the upper part on the inside. Line. For the vlog, we got hard chata too. 
Okay, you show yours because mine isn't Mine open is the lengua. It's the beef tongue. It's so fatty, but Jasmine doesn't like it. I don't like tongue. Back to their same old spot, yeah. Seaport Village. So Alex wanted to get ice cream. I thought we were gonna go inside. We are, this is parking. Oh, okay. I'm trying to hide my purse because I don't want to bring it down. Trying to figure out our meter. Found it. What do you want? I don't know. Uh, just the just the small size is fine. Yay! Hey, thanks, babe. Where should we go? Somewhere less crowded. <laughs> This is really hard because it's use the mask. Strawberry cheesecake again. Oh god, I thought that girl fell into the water. So we're just walking and eating our ice cream. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna go now because it's too crowded. And no matter how much we try and like distance ourselves, except for this area, but all along the boardwalk is like way too many people. I just woke up from a nap. It's now 5 30. And we're gonna go get some Korean barbecue from H Mart and just cook it here. Then we'll get some like side dishes because of H Mart. H -Mart. They have all those like kimchi and radish. radish and stuff. So this one's actually pretty cool because they have like the Korean corn dogs and then they have like the Tours de Jour cafe. It's H Mart groceries and, and more. You know, it's like as if you're going to like Korean Central. It's not too busy either. So cute. It has little. So here it says required. In some places it's not. Okay. Wait, let's do a grocery haul. Get to the H Mart here. Yeah, wasn't this cute? You love it. Oh my god. It. They bread. had bread from the Torless drawers and they just opened one in my area, so. I'm gonna try that's good. Then you can get some luck. We got some tofuki. That's just like instant. Some radish, some rice paper that we need to cut up for our Korean barbecue. What is it, bulgogi? Yeah, it's bulgogi. I don't know what this is. What is that? Oh, this is for me. This is um, soup broth based, so it's anchovy broth for my sundugu chicken. Did she card you? Yeah, because apparently there's like some sort of ingredient that's um, oh, it's fermented. It's like the wheat. Oh, that's so bizarre. We got some chopstick of coke because I really wanted one of these. And kimchi. <laughs> and kimchi. Yeah. Our tapoki is ready. Alex is cooking the rest of the meat. We have the radish, rice paper. So we're watching a live stream because it's Sunday. <laughs> Let me turn on the light so you can actually see. So, put our tapoki in there, bulgogi, and then all our sunshine. You want to try it with me, babe? There's like raisins in it. What kind of bread was it? Taste test. 
Mm. Maybe it's just warm it. It's, it's pretty good already. Like right, better warm. Okay. I like it though. It's good. Mm. It's good. Whoa, that's crazy. I know. Downtown. We've never stayed in downtown like, no, before. Imagine, like living in this area and like, just seeing downtown right there. All the time. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to day three, our last day in San Diego. It's almost 7 a.m. right now, and me and Alex are going to Better Buds again. again. Albert's are very laid back today. Yeah. We're just gonna be walking around La Jolla somewhere, but we wanted to get our Better Buds on before we go. So we'll probably walk around, drink our coffee, and get our steps in for the day. Checkout is at 11, so we wanted to allot enough time so that we're able to like shower and just like chill before we go. Let's go. Yeah, 801. Yeah. Hooray! Thanks, Wolves. Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. I love Butter Buzz. Oh my gosh. So, yesterday I got it half cast. I don't know, try walk park. I don't know. Look at that. Whoa. Wow, nice, nice ass houses. So that's the end. It was like five minutes. Let's see. Go down there. The otters. This is the restaurant and it's supposed to be open. Oh, cause they just opened the screens cause you, you're able to eat inside now. Uh, so, wow. First encounter really outside. Weird. Why? Sitting down. It's, so, first thing you notice is like, now they have this in plastic. So this is the place, Haru Mama. Can you see it? And then this area is supposed to have like two people. In this area used to have a bunch of people. Now it's only two and then two. So what is this one? It's the duck bow bow. Duck bow bow. Bomb bomb. <laughs> uh, what is this? Beef? That's cow, yeah, beef. Duck and then dessert. Egg custard. Eating. That one looks really good too. Mmm. The duck's good. good. Mm. Wow. Let's see it. Mmm. See the inside. Ooh. <laughs> How is it? Sweet? Mm hmm. It's not too sweet. It's not oh, too okay. sweet. How oh, cute. Rosy cheeks. <laughs> the way you ate it is so funny. Mm. Mm. It tastes like the coconut string yeah. that we have at dim sum. It's good. It's not too sweet, huh? So, how was your experience? It was kind of weird. It's been like how many months since we've actually eaten, eaten out? It's nearly been like three months. Yeah, it's, it was kind of um, weird actually to like interact with the server to come take your order. Because usually you call over the phone or like come and pick it up and you leave but you were allowed to stay and kind of just sit and eat but I just thought it was it's it almost like defeats the perfect purpose because they're like oh you should come in like with a mask otherwise yeah. we won't serve you but then you're eating and like you're taking off your mask obviously yeah that's kind of uh, there needs to be like another way to eat 
you know, like with a mask. Maybe it's a new mask. There's like, really no way, but I... I mean, yeah, they, exactly. There's only... When we first got there, there's only one other party. Yeah. So just us and then these people all the way across. So, I mean, you're sat kind of a ways away from everyone. So I thought it was... I thought it was okay, but yeah, like you said, it's just kind of like you have to come in with a mask, but then you eat without it. Yeah, but I mean, the the servers are in like full PPE where they have like the yeah. mask, the face shield, and then, and then they have gloves on. And then when they take your order, like they're six feet away from you, and then they like wipe down every surface whenever like you leave, or like every five minutes they like wipe down like the um, like the handles and stuff of, like the doors so I thought it was okay like they they are doing what they can do to prevent like spread of like whatever germs there are but mm -hmm. like it's I think that was like best case scenario because there wasn't that many people yeah. but when it gets crowded that's when it gets a lot harder to keep everything sanitary but I think like what they did say was they recommend you to take out to dine out instead of staying there yeah but, but like, we weren't there for that long yeah but it was an experience. It was a very weird experience. I thought that was... It was, like, a lot different than any other experience that we had with, like, dining in. Because this is, like, one of the first. Like, San Diego County and, like, Ventura County are one of the first ones to open up, like, their restaurants for dining again. So, really, just San Diego County is... So, we go back to OC and there's nothing like this, yeah. so... Or LA. Especially LA, so... Mm -hmm. So, yeah... That's pretty much it for our San Diego trip. We're going to be heading back home. We both have work tomorrow again. Yep. So thank you guys for watching. And we hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.